Hello, this video is about a mouse, but not just any mouse, it's about a fancy mouse. So fancy, in fact, that it's piqued the interest of our friend John here. See, he can't help but be curious. As he steps towards it, he begins to realize he's massively underdressed to hold and be near such a fancy mouse. <clears throat> hey, I'm just calling it as I see it. But when he grabs the mouse, pinkies up, engaged, a dapper gentleman emerges, a man who enjoys the finer things in life. And what's better than one fancy mouse? Yes, that's right, two fancy mouses. Mice, meeses, oh, whatever. Let's just start the video. So before we get to the video and you see the awesome stuff I gotta talk about, I wanna give you guys a chance to win one. So you could win your choice of one of these lunar artifact mice, actually, one of these exact ones, as well as a $500 American Express gift card to use anywhere you want, open to anyone in the world. All you gotta do is just give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below on why you'd wanna win a mouse and also be sure to leave your social handle so we have a way to reach you. There'll be an example down below. Okay, so yeah, this is a sponsored video about a mouse, but it's a very fancy looking mouse. This is not a layman come shipped in the box with your laptop kind of mouse. Uh, this is a mouse for the discerning taste. So if James Bond made a mouse that Q tinkered with, uh, this would be it. So if you look at the mouse, I mean, you can see that it is unique, right? It's materials used to design. It's, it's eye-catching. And it comes in a few finishes, brass and aluminum or aluminum. So on the top, it uses these detachable pads that are genuine leather, uh, by the way. So over time, it's gonna wear and patina, giving it kind of a cool age character. There's also other leather colors if you wanna choose from, you kind of mix and match your look over time. But leather's not the only thing they offer. There's also a smoke and a clear plastic cover, more of a traditional mousy look. But everything about it feels premium, even down to the unboxing experience. And of course, Obviously, it'll do general mouse things really well. Connect it via Bluetooth or with the occluded dongle that fits nicely into the design so you don't sort of lose it. It charges mercifully with a USB-C type cable. And this is kind of a novel concept on the front of the mouse. Also interesting features that the mouse can wirelessly charge via any Qi charging pad. Uh, a nice feature that really not many mice have. On the bottom, you can change the mouse's tracking speed with a single click. Lastly, it's got PixArt Paw 3805. Props you if you know what that means. What it's going to translate to is that you can use this mouse on glass uh, without any issues. And if you're a mouse pad kind of person, you don't want to use this on glass, um, they also offer a really high quality, genuine leather mouse pad that, you know, probably might want to consider using or pick up. I'm kind of in a world where like tech is becoming less and less repairable. I mean, just like look at your phone. This actually goes against the grain. You can tear it down to the bone, and I mean it. You can take everything apart. If you want to replace a battery, you can. Switch is wearing, replace those two. Scroll wheel sticking? Yeah, you can fix that also. You can see where I'm going with this. It's pretty cool, and not something I see a lot in tech anymore. So like I mentioned, they come in two finishes. The aluminum feels about the same weight as most mice you use, uh, but the brass, brass is, uh, is a heavy boy. Uh, it's 200 grams to be exact, which for those not familiar with the metric system, uh, it's almost half a pound worth of mouse. It's a lot. I kind of like it. So the feel does feel nice, but it does take some getting used to, and it's designed for most of your hand to rest on top of the mouse as opposed to all the way around it. Uh, they do have attachments that you can clip onto the front that offer kind of wider grooves for fingers to fit in more comfortably. So the price is actually listed in pounds since it's a London-based company. Uh, it's 180 pounds for the aluminum, so nobody gets mad at me, and it's 195 pounds for the brass. It comes into around 250, 270-ish dollars, depending on which one you choose and the exchange rate. Uh, so, 250 bucks, 270 dollars is expensive for a mouse. There are obviously cheaper options that point and click. But as far as the peripherals go, something that really you use all the time with your computer, if you wanted something a little higher quality that has removable parts you can pick and choose, and you know, this is the mouse to consider. If maybe you buy a new mouse every five or six years, you buy one, will last you 10 or 15, and you're pretty happy and maybe the price can be spread out uh, over a while. And I get that I'm being like a little silly uh, about a mouse, but I couldn't help but have like a little bit of fun. But the reality is that it's more than just a fancy mouse. 
I know it sounds expensive, but this is clearly one of those things that you get what you paid for type of situations. This is a quality product made with quality materials. This isn't like a mass produced product. When you hold it, you can tell that it is. Much a piece of art as it's like a functional device. The designers over at Luna Artifacts are handpicking the materials and building everything by hand. And with that, you're getting a mouse that can last you way, way, way longer than probably the one you're currently using while maintaining its original look and feel. It looks good, it feels good, and ultimately I think at this point you probably already know if it's for you. So if I, if I didn't like have this for a job and I was doing anything else, there's probably no way I'd be upgrading my phone every year. My relationship with tech would be totally different than it is right now. And instead of kind of worrying about what the next latest and greatest thing coming out was, kind of be focused on making what I have last. I'd probably be more selective over what companies I buy from and what products I ultimately end up using and that's sort of the overall message of this video, right? Like I talked about earlier, this is a quality product with a premium price. But if you want to buy something once and you want to enjoy high quality and artisanship, and you have it for years and years, this is a pretty good way to go.